afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Mangata PDK Stadium Meadow Park for this Manorama National League tie between Boreham Wood and Altrincham. Well, the home side certainly find themselves embroiled in something of a relegation fight after back-to-back -back away defeats. These are 18th in the table, just three points above Kidderminster in 21st place. For today's visitors all the way from Southern Manchester, they find themselves seeking a third win in four. Just outside the playoffs, though, after Oldham picked up that 2-2 home draw with Chesterfield. But a draw or win today for the Robins will see them move back into the playoffs, regardless of what happens elsewhere. It promises to be an exciting game with huge ramifications at the top and bottom of the Vanarama National League. It is Borenwood against Oldrigan. Oldham 2, Chesterfield 2, a result from earlier. There is a game tomorrow as well. Oxford City against Halifax Town. That kicks off at 12.15. You can watch that one on TNT Sports as well from 12 o'clock. So make sure you tune in to that. Uh, could have big ramifications for both of these sides. Uh, so the Oxford City right at the bottom of the table. And straight away, Liam Love trying to make it a bit of a, a nuisance of himself. Here is the return in Eriko Sousa. He himself injured a couple of weeks ago. He's back. Sagan with the strike. Oh, what a save. Well, Ross at full strength there, has to palm it over. Mo Sagaf making a big impact straight away, and it's a corner for Boran Wood. First minute of the game, and a wonderful effort for Boran Wood. Souza goes over to take the corner. Early signs of intent from the men in white. Sagaf has gone over for company as well, decides to go short to Mo Sagaf. Souza's on the overlap now, Ball's coming back in, it was left. Belanto left it, Bush has a strike and it's another great save by Ross, it comes back into the box, it's still loose and Love trying to feed it back in, there's a flood of navy blue shirts and it's a corner again, wow my word, Laura Wood have got a bit between their teeth. Last season certainly known for their defensive strength, it falls to Payne, can he load up, he has a shot. I think it came off the back of Jake Cooper. It's a corner again, a fourth corner in the early stages of this game. Now, Boreham Wood have been in the National League ever present since the 2015-2016 season. Only two sides in the National League have been in the division longer. So can you tell me who they are? Uh, so only two sides. Here's Belanta. I'll come back to that very shortly. Belanta has a strike. It's always missing left. It's out for an option. Shimanga. Can he keep it in? He can. Boreham Wood holding the ball well, but just running out of options. Good positional play by Altringham just to stop any attack at the minute. Shimanga wins it. Here's in love. He holds it up well for Shimanga. Can he find himself a little bit of space? He takes a shot and it's just over. But well worth the effort. And Kabongo Shimanga showing why he is such a danger man. Bournemouth looking to come away with it, but they can't because Newby. Here's Con Clark with the strike. Oh, and this time it was Ashmore out to be up for it, and he was. He got a strong left hand onto it, and it's out for a corner for Altrincham. First real attack and intent of the day from the Robins. Back into Homer. Good news so far, really, for Boreham Wood. That if it stays like that, of course, uh, currently going well this season. Currently, start the day third place on the table. Here's Chris Con Clark. Newby is still driving forward as well. What can Con Clark do? The danger man seeking his 19th of the season. Oh, and it's Newby missing left, and uh, he puts his head in his hands in utter disappointment. He knows he should have done better with that. Con Clark. Souza cuts it out, deals with it, knocks it forward, but there's no Boreham Wood player even in the Altrincham half, so Robbins will come again with Jones. Con Clark. And the loser has the strike. Oh, it's so hit the post, it's come out again, and Payne clears it. Well, I wonder if Ashmore actually might have got the, the faintest of touches on that to put it on, but there's a little bit of space now. It's another wonderful strike, this time from Wilson, and Ashmore did get a touch on it, and it's a corner for Altrincham. Well, there's been some magnificent chances in this game. How it's nil-nil, I don't quite know. 
34 minutes in, it is somehow nil-nil. Con Clark goes back to Osborne. Con Clark again. Jones working the ball well. Altrigan just trying to find that killer pass. And here's Newby, and it took a touch on Fabio Sandy. And how important was that? Talk about finding the killer pass, they, they found it there. If it wasn't for Femi Ilisandi's shin pad, it might have nestled itself into the ball and would go. Here's Osborne who loads up, has a shot, and it's another good save by Ashmore. He stopped the ball dead, and as he brought his knee around, actually knocked it out for a corner. Well, another big opportunity for Altrincham. It took a while to go get into this game, the Robins. But they're ending the half strong. 44 minutes in. Is there a twist right at the end of this first half? Here's Con Clark. Here's Osborne. He's got space. He decides to load up. He's going to make Ashmore work, but it's straight into his arms. He's going to have two minutes of time added on at the end of this first half. Just about to be announced by fourth official Charlie Roberts. Able to break the deadlock, put in Ethan Ross to work early, early on. He made two spectacular saves, and since then, Altrincham have just grown stronger and stronger into the game and put Nathan Ashmore to work a couple of times, I'm trying to probe and find that killer pass. There goes the half time whistle from referee James Durkin. It is nil nil at the break, but it's been a cracking watch so far. Here's Bush. Erika Souza, the returning. Portuguese danger man, the ball falls into the box, Shamanga turns, has a shot, it's into the hands of Ross, not, uh, not quite enough power on it for Kabongo Shamanga. Well, Ebsfleet have equalised against Gateshead as well, that's uh, been a topsy-turvy game, Ebsfleet led that one 1-0, one Gateshead then took the lead at 2-1 and now Ebsfleet have equalised and it's 2-2 two -two. and here's Balanta, here's Shamanga, surely what a save by Ross! That's three times now he's come up with remarkable saves and we're called upon, boy oh boy, Ethan Ross delivers. Well, Kapongo Shimanga puts those away so often. Corner though for Boreham Wood, in it comes, something's building, trying to find in love. And Altrigan will comfortably clear their lines. Or should do, but don't, because Fifield shouts a shoot, takes a shot, it comes off the head of the defender and it's cleared. Oh, a late tackle there by Chris Bush on Danawa. It was a late, late tackle from Chris Bush. Danawa's gone down and Bush knows he caught it late. And it's a red card. Chris Bush is sent off. Straight red for the late tackle on Danawa. And he's gone. And the North Bank 11 referee James Durkin know what they think of that decision. It's in Greater Manchester, eight miles southwest of Manchester itself. Famous faces from Altrincham for Ian Brown and John Squire of the Stone Roses, both attended Altrincham Grammar School for boys. Elstree TV and film studios around here. The ball comes in, it's Casilo with it, and what a challenge from Fifield. End to end stuff, and it's now it's the turn of Altrincham to attack. Here's Newby, Wilson. Osborne's in acres of space on his right hand side, but uh, they're deciding to keep the ball in the midfield and more over to the left. Newby back to Con Clark. And Here's Cooper, Osborne calling for it, finally Osborne gets hold of it, but he's a few more players around him now. Con Clark loads up, has a goal, whoa, what a goal! Chris Con Clark with his 19th of the season! And it left Nathan Ashmore absolutely stunned in Altrincham with the man advantage, take the lead! Well, it sends the Altrincham fans absolutely potty down there. They are thrilled. And finally, the deadlock has been broken. And who else? Chris Con Clark. It is uh, Eric Souza now. There's a man 
to create some magic. It's this man. Here is Cox, first touch of the ball, and Sagath runs into the wall of Newby, but Cox comes away with it. This time it's gone in, it's in love, who got a touch on it, and love turns and shoots, it's going wide. And I think the foul's been given anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Sully Holmores have been in the National League since the 2016, 2017 season. Free kick comes in, oh, and Ashmore stood there. We'll give you the answer in a couple of minutes for the quiz question. Board would have been in the league since 2015-16. Only two sides have been in it for longer. Who are they? Let me know. Eastley is one of them. Who is the other? It's not Sully Holmores. Let me know quickly on Twitter, at Ian Woodhouse 1, or on Instagram. I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Have you enjoyed it? I bet you have if you're an Ultrigan fan, because here comes Chris Conclark once again. Shouts of shoot for Amaluzo, who does. He loads up, and it's gone behind the burger van. The answer to the quiz question, two sides that have been in the National League longer than Bourne Woods. We've got the Lions, uh, Scott, well, they've been in it since the 2015-2016 season. They are Eastley and Oldshot. Oldshot was the team. So congratulations. Thank you everybody as well for getting in touch and having a guess. Just a bit of fun, of course, you don't win everything. But, uh, thanks for letting me know. Tell me your thoughts on the game as well. Corner for Boreham Wood. Late in the game, eight, seven minutes played. Right in front of the North Bank. Is this set for the grandstand finish? Can Boreham Wood go home with an all-important point in a fight to beat the drop zone? Two points above it at the minute with Kidderminster Harriers drawing with Bromley. In the ball comes. It's going to be away though by Oxford. Was there a push? Jamal Fifield is adamant there is. The linesman flag goes up anyway, and referee James Birkin is having none of it at all, and the North Bank are pretty disappointed. Eric Souza just looks like he's struggling a little bit. He's only just come back from injury, and here's Angus. Oh, and Ashmore comes out and makes a wonderful save. He took a slip as well. He was there for the taking, but Ashmore somehow managed to deal with it. My word, dangerous play from Nathan Ashmore, but it paid, could pay huge dividends as Marsh loads up. Oh, it's over the bar. Whew, can they do it? Jack Payne goes over to take it. Just got to get the ball into the box. Payne with the throw. Shirts have been tugged everywhere. Came off the back of the head. Goes into the arms of Ethan Ross. He pumps it high into the sky because James Durkin blows the full-time whistle. And it's a third win in four games for Altrincham. They reaffirm their place inside the playoffs. But for Boreham Wood, they find themselves firmly in a relegation scrap. It has been an excellent game of football. Really, the sending off for Chris Bush was the turning point in the game for a late challenge on Danawa. Not too long after that, Chris Conclark, with his 19th of the season, proved to be the winner. And it has finished here. Warrenwood nil, Altrincham 1.